I'm not even being dramatic about this. If you apply what I'm gonna show you how to set up today, you will be editing your videos so, so much faster. I know a lot of you may not even use keyboard shortcuts, maybe a few here and there, like if you wanna make an immediate cut, you press Command B, it'll make a cut in your clip. Those default keyboard shortcuts are okay and all, but there is a much, much better way, in my opinion, to set these up. So I would suggest pulling up Final Cut and press the keyboard shortcut option, command and K. This brings up your custom keyboard editor. You're gonna hit this little drop down menu. Likely if you don't have a custom keyboard, it'll be set to default. So then you'll hit duplicate and you can rename it whatever. So we'll just call it example. And the first thing we're gonna change if you type in play around is this little guy right here. So instead of shift question mark, just hit the question mark key, hit reassign and then save. If you're wondering what say a transition will look like that you just added or what a clip will look like that you just added when it's being played out, you don't have to move your cursor, hit the space bar and play it out if you're in that position right here. All you have to do is press the question mark key. It'll play a few seconds before, a few seconds after, and because we have loop on, which is command L, it's now just going to loop this sequence. So you can really see maybe how a transition worked. You can see how two clips work together or look together. And one more time, because I very quickly touched on it, it's command L to loop playback. So you'll see this little arrow around this playback button. That means it is looped. The next thing we're gonna set up if we press Option Command K is what I used to call the trifecta or the triple threat. Now I've added a key that makes it the quadruple threat, uh, which is a mouthful. I need to figure out another name for it. So the very first thing we're gonna change is the blade tool. So instead of Command B to make an immediate cut, we're just gonna press B and reassign and then delete this old one. So just hit the delete key and then we're gonna switch this. So the blade tool might as well make this command B. So we're flipping these two. So all this does, if we hit save and I just press B, is now B makes an immediate cut. So instead of that two key command B, now you have to press B, very quick, very easy, and it plays into these next three keys that we're setting up. So if we press Option Command K and we do Trim Start, this one is set to normally on default Option Left Bracket, but we are going to press this and hit G and hit Reassign. And then you can even leave this if you'd like, but just to keep it tidy, we'll delete it. We'll do Trim End. We will hit this and hit the H key and hit reassign. So, and we could delete that as well. So now, say we wanted to just start the clip right here where this noise is being made. You don't have to go and trim here. All you have to do is press the G key, which is so nice because on your keyboard, usually your fingers are sitting on F and J. And so that just is one over, one key over, and it's very visible. So you hit G, if you want to trim after, you hit H, and if you want to make a cut in the middle, you just go one key down and hit B to make an immediate cut. That is the trifecta. But now I have added another key, which makes it the quadruple threat. So press Option Command K, and we're going to type in Trim to Selection. This is normally Option and Forward Slash, sorry, Option Backslash and we're gonna change it to the Y key. Normally this is open audition, but I don't use audition much in Final Cut, so doesn't matter to me, this is a much better key to reassign it to, or a much better function rather, and we'll delete the original, or you can leave it, totally up to you. So now you could just use the range tool by pressing R, select this area, all you do is hit that Y key, to the left of this range is deleted or trimmed and to the right of the range is trimmed. As another example here, Y, boom, trim, very easy. You have all of the threats right in the middle. You have your Y key to trim to selection. You have your G to trim to start. You have your H to trim to end. And then you have your B to make an immediate cut. Very simple, they're one keys. Highly suggest setting these up. 
hit Option Command K again, and this time we're gonna search for crossfade or just fade. You're gonna click this, your crossfade. Normally this is Option T to add audio crossfades. I like to switch this just to one key, so I do backslash, and you can leave this if you like, totally up to you and then you hit save. So now anytime I need to add an audio fade between these, just select the clips, hit one key, the backslash key, and now we have these fades made. And also because someone commented in the last video, they didn't know that you could do this. If you control right click, you can change the type of fade that it is. So I usually like linear, but it depends on the audio. And sometimes it helps to switch them up and uh, maybe even press control S and then try overlapping and stuff like that. Just different tricks. Hopefully some of them stick. Let's say you just wanted to hear this specific sound effect. Usually what you would do, if you know the keyboard shortcut, is press Option S. This is gonna solo select this sound effect. You can also go and press this little headphone icon here, but that just takes too much time to go over there. But I have a way better keyboard shortcut that's really gonna speed things up for you. So press Option Command K to bring up your keyboard shortcut editor. I'm gonna type in solo, solo well, I thought it was solo select, it's just solo and then you're gonna switch it just to the C key. You can leave this if you'd like, up to you. I just delete it, so it forces me to remember the, the new keyboard shortcut. And the reason I like this, C, 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 is because the key next to it is V, which is to disable that clip. So they're essentially opposites. One keyboard shortcut allows you to just hear that clip, the other key right next to it, which is V, completely disables that clip. So they're polar opposites, but they're right next to each other on the keyboard. Normally you have to look down at your keyboard and then press control plus, plus, plus to raise three decibels and control minus, minus, minus to raise three decibels. But a way faster way is to first press option command K to bring up that keyboard shortcut editor. And we're gonna type in uh, raise volume one decibel. What I like to do is change this to just the plus key or it's the equals key, same key, and then hit reassign. We could even just delete these to make it tidy and then do lower volume and do the minus key and hit save. So now, anytime you want to raise, you just hit plus, 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 minus, 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 minus. So I find what I do very quickly is if I need to move it into position, I'll press the period key and lower a little bit, maybe the comma, raise. Basically you get the point, just a few keys and I'm able to fine tune the position and the volume of the audio. It's very useful, just one key. I know that was a lot to remember. Maybe you're not even by your computer. So I created a just a small PDF that you can download for free on my website. In return, I would ask that you help a small YouTuber out and subscribe to my Final Cut Pro and videography channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I appreciate your support and I will see you in the next one.